On this episode of Traveling with Crushworth, my first stop is Galway, County Galway, for adventuring into the countryside. Travel with me and walk the streets of this Irish-speaking city. Immerse yourself in the music and culture on a stroll through the Latin Quarter. Don't miss the historic King's Head pub. Sit for a while in Air Square. Walk through the Spanish Arch, part of the medieval system of walls, or cast a line into the River Corrib. I'm in the um, medieval city of Galway, and as you can see, I'm walking down the heart of the center itself, and there's pubs, and there's buskers, and there's music everywhere. There's somebody just setting up here, and uh, it is an amazing place. But as I'm walking around and showing you uh, some of the things to see, I hope you have a great time traveling with Crushworth. All right. Thanks again, and see you soon. A city of faith, both old and new, Galway has an ages-old medieval past. The Church of St. Nicholas, a saint revered by mariners, was visited by Christopher Columbus in 1477. Reflect upon the past, but the city truly lights up when a favorite rugby team wins big. Tell uh, it is sun Sunday, and I found the weekend market, which takes place uh, throughout the summer time. And there's food, and there's art vendors, and it's quite the sight, and it stretches on for quite quite a long ways. All right, so I'll continue on. S see you later. Spend time at Salt Hills Oceanside Promenades, and then bid farewell to Galway. Venture into the alien Burren region, a landscape inhabited by early people for thousands of years. The Burren in County Clare is an alien-like landscape known for its ancient inhabitants who scratched out their existence upon the rocks. The Neolithic portal tomb at Polnabrone stitches together a tapestry of Ireland's first farmers, a society with archaic but telling death rituals. Upon your visit to medieval Kilfenora, it's easy to see why travelers are enthralled with the religious high crosses gaze at the Doherty Cross and marvel at the 12th century cathedral ruins. All right, well, it was a long trip by bus because, of course, I can't apparate like Dumbledore and Harry, Harry, Harry Potter did. But if you guys are fans of Half-Blood Prince, um, this was one of the uh, locations in the film for Voldemort's Hor 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 Horcrux, uh, you know, the scene in the cave but uh, I'll show you more as I'm walking along. See you later. Inish Moor, the largest of the Aran Islands, continues to offer visitors a quintessential Irish experience as soon as the ferry lands at the pier. Before the adventure begins, travelers should explore a quaint, picturesque Kilronan town. For those who want to further connect with this ages old landscape, rent a bicycle from the shop near the ferry dock before setting up for the island's treasured hill fort, Dun Angosa. Populated since 3000 BCE, the Aran Islands are a world of Stone Age forts, wedge tombs, early Christian religious sites, and a land of storied tradition and immense heritage. Climb the rocky hill to Dun Angosa, a stone fort originally built in 1100 BCE. Walk through the gates and carefully stand or crawl to what the ancients saw as the world's edge. 
perched precariously on this bleak outcropping overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. This must-see hill fort is a reminder of a turbulent past, but also of a people who built an engineering marvel. Thank you for watching this Galway Aran Islands episode of Traveling with Crashworth. For a recap video of Ireland and Northern Ireland, click the video link on the right. In order to return to Dingle and the Dingle Peninsula, click the link on the left. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. For more travel photographs, please visit travelingwithcrushworth.com. I'm also on Twitter at Travel with Crush and on Instagram at Traveling with Crushworth. Thanks for watching and see you next time.